Hey yo, what's the deal? I'm Latoyne. Today what we're gonna talk about is the three types of people that you should avoid. That you gotta avoid these people, man. Like if you wanna better yourself, if you want a path for bettering yourself, on a path for self-improvement, whether you male or female, you gotta finish this video. You gotta watch these video because these are the main three people that you gotta worry about. But before I jump into the uh, topic today, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like. Um, I got a new song, Choose To Be Difficult, coming out in a couple of days. So make sure that you are able and ready to check that out. But we're gonna nose dive straight into this topic today. The three types of people. <laughs> These three types of people are so detrimental to growth. You see what I'm saying? They don't know how to allow you to grow. And whether it's personal or unpersonal, that, you know, that's for you to dictate on what whether that you know what it is so person number one that you really need to avoid a complainer now we all know we're all in like mentally aware already that people that are complainers like they're always siphoning energy you see what i'm saying like the, the no not nine times out of ten the people that's complaining the most these are the people that's not doing anything and I believe everybody already mentally understand that, but the part that I don't think that we tend to grasp or ground into the reality of that situation of dealing with a complainer is that that complainer is siphoning your energy. And so when you're around a person that's a complainer, whether you male or female, what that's doing to you is that you're always in a, in a notion of problem, of problem solving for that person. So say that's the person that you're in a relationship with or anything like that. But they always complaining about small, minute stuff. So imagine that, think long-term. If every day that you're with this person for the next two, three years, they're always complaining about small, minute things that can be changed in the blink of an eye, you never actually get to apply the problem solving to life because you're always focused on the small, dumb things that really don't mean anything. And so that's really the first main reason that you would want to stay away from a complainer is they're going to siphon your energy to go out here to figure out life because you're going to be too focused on trying to get these, you know, these little problems. That's really not even problems because nine times out of 10, if all a person, a person that's a complainer have to do is just do some kind of action. And that's what I'm starting to learn. You know what I'm saying? Through my life is like, Majority of y'all just not putting no action. You know, people that are complainers. When you're a complainer, you're just not putting action towards anything. And so it, it, it's an energy. You know what I'm saying? Like when that's what that's what we don't tend to understand that about life. About you know, about life, that life is energetic. You know what I'm saying? We they told us this in science. If any of you went to uh public school, all my subscribers and all my new subscribers that's gonna come, be sure to subscribe. They told us in science, energy never dies. So we already have that principle that we understand that energy is a real thing. We just don't know how to look at it practically and understand it and, and practice it practically and apply it to our lives. That's where a lot of us end up jaded, you know what I'm saying? However, we're gonna go on to the second type of person that you need to avoid at all costs. This is the sneaky one, the covert one, the uh, passive aggressive hater. You need to stay away, away from passive aggressive haters. The number one reason as a man, from a man's perspective, that we can't be around passive aggressive haters, because those are usually the ones that do harm to you. The people that's outright letting, letting you know that, hey, I don't like you, I don't fuck with you. They, you know, it, they tend to not be the ones to do something to you. But the problem with the passive aggressive hater is that person will be sitting right up under you but in the meantime in their mind they're really destroying you and if you know anything about energy we're gonna go take this right back to energy that thoughts are energy so this person can be sitting right here they have this mask on that they're cool with you you see what i'm saying like because i could be looking and smiling and all this shit but in the back of my mind i'm doing nothing but wishing detrimental and death and dark and despair and all this kind of shit on you and destruction and the type of destruction the way you can't fucking build from and that's what that's what happens you see what i'm saying when you're around these passive aggressive haters these uh you know these these covert people because I view those people as people that don't have enough spine 
to just tell you straight up, I don't like you. I don't like what you stand for. None of that. That's how I look at these people. And as a musician, as I'm growing, as I'm, you know, as a father, as I'm growing, those people will do the most damage to you versus the people that just outrightly tell you who and what they are. Because then you have a choice to engage with or not engage with. But when you are a person that's elevating, you know what I'm saying, and you, you want to be better, you want to self-improve, these passive aggressive haters, what they'll do, they'll put themselves in your life, but they will put themselves in your life in a way that you think that they're really supporting. But they're really coming from an angle of they're, they want to covertly destroy you. They want to destroy you passive aggressively. They're not going to just outrightly destroy you. You see what I'm saying? But if you're a person that's smart and you're not going to allow that, that shit can eventually grow to envy because they're realizing you're not letting them into, you see what I'm saying, their circle to slowly rot whatever you have going on. So that's the second kind of person that you need to avoid at all costs. The third person that you need to avoid at all costs. If you're a person out here and you grind and you want to be a better person internally, externally for, for the world, for your family, for your kids, if you have kids, or just solely for yourself. <clears throat> this is the number one person that you need to avoid, bro. <laughs> a fucking time waster. If they wasting time, that is the most precious thing that we all have. All of us have precious time. And the thing about time is you cannot get time back. So if you are fucking with a person that's eating your time up, doing nonsense, and you a person that want to be successful, you see what I'm saying? Because some people are okay with just, you know, living that kind of life. And that's fine with me too. But if you're a person that's out here claiming you want to be successful and all that kind of stuff, you don't have no time to waste. Every minute of your day should be towards something productive, towards something that's going to help you next week or next month. You see what I'm saying? This is the mindset that you have to adopt when you're in a self-improvement type of mindset. So that's just food for thought. These are the three types of people that you need to avoid at all costs, dog. It ain't no if, ands, or buts. It ain't none of that. You got to avoid these people. And that don't mean disrespect them. I'm not saying to be disrespectful. You respect people as long as you're giving respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, And even then, sometimes you just walk away from them, bro. As long as they're not physically threatening you or, or trying to harm you or none of that, walk away from them. Because at the end of the day, you're using your that the same energy that you're using to fight that person. You could be using it to build yourself. So just be mindful of your energy, man. Be mindful of the time. Be mindful of the, of the company you keep. And for shit show, be mindful of those three people that I just told you to avoid. Peace.